Hello. Hello. I'm Ginger. I'm Dee. And, and this, this is, is chatting with, with Chap. Chap. <laughs> so hard. Really off this week. <laughs> you know what though? But when I watch the video, it like matches up even when we're. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. I don't know how it works, but. Oh well. Today I went to the ball game because I'm sure everybody out there would rather be at a ball game today. So here I am, and it has a lovely flag, very Aww. patriotic. I would love to be sitting outside at a ball game right now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to a game right now. <laughs> yes, yes, we would all go. It would be wonderful. Yeah. I'm just waiting for at least the weather to be more consistent. Consistent. And and warmer <laughs> we went and yeah. got flowers and i had to bring them in and uh, i don't know no i have plants and i i had them out in a greenhouse and I brought them back in because it was going to be 30 and i'm like what crazy so i'm waiting thursday thursday's the golden day it is it is well <laughs> you know my usuals ginger i have a little bit of an announcement okay a little bit a little bit i am so sure everyone knows but you know it's so funny i had an email with a uh, co-op leader I was signing by Jup for a class for chemistry and mentioned the convention date change and she said she wasn't aware of it. So I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep saying it. I know many yeah. of you have heard it, but convention has been moved to August 21st mm. and 22nd, still at the Lancaster County Convention Center. If you've seen it before, uh, the announcement, we're going to have Heidi St. John. So that's exciting. Yay. Um, she's <laughs> able to make it now that we move to August and going to have comedy and constitution friday evening everything else is pretty much the same a majority of our vendors can make it so Yay. we're really excited and if for some reason you've registered and you can't make it you need to let us know asap but we processed refunds last week so if you did let us know you should be seeing that and for those of you that can make it we're we're excited to see you in august so yay yay and thank you to all of you who donated or transferred we really appreciate your generosity so that was really awesome to see that too yeah so um i did want to share with all of you folks out there as you're watching these videos or hearing me talk to folks who are new specifically to homeschooling please um share more of these videos with them share with our the quick start that we have on chap online share homeschoolpennsylvania.org with them point them to these places and tell them about these videos because as they get started there's lots of videos that, that d and i have made about what type of curriculum to use with kids or how does the paperwork ha work and how does the medical stuff work and we've talked about all those things and it's all also out there on homeschoolpennsylvania.org but there are many i mean i've been looking through the groups just in the lancaster area and there's always people asking how to get started because they don't want to have their kids doing the online school if the school shut down and and all this other stuff for the fall so please pass this information on Share it on your Facebook, um, your your story or your feed or whatever. Just point people to these so they can get the help that they need. And they can always message us too. That's right. And so this is our 78th episode of Chat. 78. 78. Wow. Yeah, a lot of out there. Woo and we are on line number nine. I feel like we've been working through this right. series for a little while now. It's been a while. It has been, but we're on line number nine. So next week we will wrap this up. But today the lie is. There is a perfect curriculum out there that will solve all of your problems. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get to convention and find that perfect curriculum. We go to convention, we look at everything, we find something, and we think this is the answer is to all it. of the struggles. This will fix <laughs> everything. Does that work for you? Um, no. <laughs> I, I must confess. We, years ago, we looked at sunlight and we decided, man, that is really awesome because we love books and we love good stories and textbooks are boring. And we have stuck with that over the years and by and large people have loved it. But the other stuff that we've used has really been modified or um, <laughs> kind of used anyway, but grumbled through. <laughs> so, <laughs> how about you? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, there's always been, there's been curriculum that has worked and that we have enjoyed. There's been curriculum that we've started and did not finish. And I just scrapped it right away because uh -huh. it was becoming more of a frustration. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then there's curriculum that then I adapted and made it work for us, make your curriculum work for you. So we've been in all those places. I've had things that have been my favorite and we've stuck with for quite a few years. And then I've had things where I'm like, this is not it, even though I thought it was going to be, um, mm -hmm. you know, you take in your situation and your children's learning styles and the time you have to dedicate to it mm -hmm. and all of those things, you take all that factor that all in and it can be a little tricky. So I think we just have to be careful that we don't think there's just like, Oh, I'm going to spend all this money and it's going to be perfect and it's going to work for all of my children. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I, yeah. And I, I've seen a lot of questions like that too out there in Facebook land for the folks who are getting started and this is all new and they hadn't even considered homeschooling before. And it's like, what do I do? What do I pick? You know, what do you use? And there's lots of very helpful people giving suggestions and they're all across the board. You know, you see Charlotte Mason, you see, um, whatever i mean there's all different types of things that people are suggesting doing there's some folks looking for unschool some you know and there's so many options so um i guess with that you may think you may go into something thinking well i'm totally gonna unschool or i'm totally gonna do this structured thing or or you might think that that you have the perfect thing and there's like Dee said there's a bunch of different factors there it's like your teaching style what you're comfortable with i'm comfortable with something that's outlined for me and you do this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, and you check it off and you're all done. Or I'm more comfortable with, well, ah, let's do this today. I'd rather bake or I'd rather go to the field trip today or whatever. Um, but then you find that your kids aren't learning or they're bored or they're distracted or they're angry or upset. And, and it's because they're just, it's not working for them. Right. You know, what seemed fun for you or manageable for you or cut and dry for you is is super dry for them or or not interesting or or too hard or whatever so um and that's what the flexibility of that's what's great about the flexibility of homeschooling because in other situations you can't change right you have to stay the course for whatever curriculum was was chosen for the year so homeschooling is a real blessing in that way if you do get into something and go oh this is just not working you can totally change it and I think we have to be careful, you know, we've talked about before the comparison trap, you know, just because something does work yes. for someone else, um, you can try it and maybe it'll work for you also, but it might not. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I do see a lot of that out there. People ask for suggestions and people are, people love something so much. They're like, you have to use this. To use this. It's the and best. that's fine yeah. if you want to try it. Um, yeah. But don't feel like you've failed if the curriculum's not working. Because I think that's what happens. We think, oh, it works for them, so it must be something working wrong with us. And yeah. that's not necessarily true. And so just so you go into it with an open mind that mm -hmm. we're going to try this, we're going to adapt it if we have to, we're going to change things if we have to, and we're going to scrap it if we have to. Mm -hmm. And find something that works for our family. Um, and there's so much out there. That's the other thing, you know, with, uh, you know, there's so many choices and that's awesome because I'm sure, you know, back in the day when homeschooling was, you know, underground, there were no choices. And no, so a textbook from the school is pretty much it or go to yeah. the library. Yeah. So we're just so blessed to have so many options mm -hmm. and have such uh, really strong Christian material that we can choose from mm -hmm. and all different learning styles and teaching styles. And so, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit of trial and error and that's okay. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, it surely is. And I know there's a lot of moms out there getting started and you have young ones, like really young ones. I want to encourage you to not yield to the temptation to buy a full out curriculum for your four or five or maybe even six year old, because uh, it's just, you know, here, we're going to do this. And you have this big schedule page that has seven things listed on it. You have to do all seven things every day. Um, that could very easily be overwhelming for your little one and for you. Uh, so like lots of folks have asked, well, what curriculum is good for preschool? I'm non, just go play in the yard and look at butterflies and bugs and read, books. you know, read books, exact read books a lot and, you know, draw, draw letters and whatever you're playing with that day it could be rice. It could be beans. It could be your pudding, <laughs> get your magnets on the fridge, you know, make alphabet soup. 
So um, yeah, if you have the young ones, just let them let them be young. They'll learn so fast. You'll you'll be amazed. But you brought up a good point too. If you buy into this huge package and you feel like you have to accomplish it all every day, you could squelch their love for learning before yeah. it's even mm -hmm. been developed. I mean, right. that's what you want to be doing when they're that age is you want to be developing a curiosity in them and a love to be able to play and learn together. And um, some kids are more advanced, mature, you know, have a little more capability to sit and do, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of worksheets and things like that. But for a lot of them, that's a real struggle. So just be very careful. And even if you purchase the curriculum, it's okay to use pieces of it, but to not, yeah. you have to do everything. Everything. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, modifying it to suit. I, I did that for the first time. <laughs> I'm a very type A. I buy it. I use it the way it's, you're told to use it for the most part. But um, this year, I finally just let myself be like, you know what, this particular part is not working for this student. So we're just going to cut it out and do the other part that we normally skip because we only do four out of the five days. And it was great and it, that went so much better but i'm i'm definitely a type a get through them all ah you know and it's it's much better to lighten the load yeah to lighten the load and, and there's there's so many different ways to do things i know families who do mostly field trips and learning that way and they do very little work at home or they do multiple co-ops so it, it's just so many different flavors to homeschooling and, and curriculum and what you can do it's it's really amazing that's right and yeah there's so there's so much out there too that is available to us for free and so yeah. um you know sometimes it's a struggle to have a big budget and it's okay if you don't there's still a lot of great options and mm -hmm. so yeah yeah there used to be a website out there called homeschooling on a shoestring is that still there or is it a book i don't know i don't know long time ago oh my goodness Dating myself, you know, like when I was getting started, homeschooling on a shoestring. You might want to look it up because if if um, funds is an issue, um, there are things out there that are free or very very cheap. So if you want to check that out, and you can definitely do it. You can definitely do it for very little. And easy and peasy. Just, what's that? Easy peasy. Yeah, easy peasy. Yes, that's free, and and that covers everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. the whole way through, and um, it can also your homeschool can just have a totally you flavor to it and it could be really unique and different and that doesn't mean um like if you're not doing lots of sit down written work it doesn't mean your kids aren't learning or aren't smart or whatever they're just learning in a different way that's right so that's right. That's those right. are all really yeah really good things to remember it's hard for me because you know i i do think along you know i was an academic type person and that's it's just different yeah, we have to remind ourselves i mean these yeah. These episodes have been good for me to remind myself, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the lie this week. There is no that perfect is curriculum that will fix all of your problems. That is true. Well, it is true that there is no perfect curriculum. <laughs> don't believe the lie that there is. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, everybody, we will be back with line number 10. I think we're going to finally wrap it up next week, which is May. Well, I don't even know what halfway through May. <laughs> we're halfway through May now. I don't know. May 19. Oh my goodness. We'll be over halfway. I can't believe that. Yeah. It feels like it's March. I think that th these eight weeks just kind of like evaporated into space. They did. They did. And they, they went out the ozone hole. <laughs> the inconsistent weather's made it that way too so i'm hoping till next week we'll have some warmer days and yes it'll feel yeah. like so yes it will hopefully yeah. well all right everybody chatting with chat. we'll see you next Bye. week bye